Lesson 30, Complex Number of Vectors, Example 4. Now the diagram shows points O, A, B, C and D in the complex plane. These, co these points correspond to complex numbers O, Z1, Z2, Z3 and Z4 as indicated on the diagram. The triangles O, B, A and O, C, D are equilateral, which means all the angles must be 60 degrees or pi upon 3 as indicated there. Now we're going to let W equal cis pi upon 3. Now we're going to explain why Z4 equals W times Z3. Now we'll say that Z3 is equal to R cis theta. And we know that W equals the cis of pi upon 3. So W times Z3 must be equal to R, because we, we multiply the moduli together, just get R, and this will be the cis of theta plus pi upon 3, because when we multiply two complex numbers together, we add the arguments. Now, we know that Z4, here, this one here, Z4, must be theta, there's theta there, Okay, plus pi upon 3. So that will be R cis theta plus pi upon 3. Because it, R would be, would be the same because we have this, um, this R here and of course this R here because it's an equilateral triangle. So therefore, finally we see that Z4 must be equal to W times Z3. Part 2, find the complex number Z1 in terms of Z2. Now I'm going to let Z1 equal R cis phi. R cis phi. We're not going to worry about this as negative, just because we just call it phi. Now, we know that W times Z1 will be equal to R cis phi plus pi upon 3 because we'll be rotating in this direction. And further, we know that Z2, this one here, Z2, must be equal to R cis phi plus pi upon 3. There's phi plus pi upon 3 moving in this direction. Therefore, WZ1 must be equal to Z2, which means Z1 must be equal to Z2 on W. So it's now in terms of Z2. Now in part 3, using complex numbers, show the lengths of AC, this one here, AC, and BD are equal. Now we'll use the parts we've shown before, that Z4 equals W times Z3, and Z2 equals W times Z1. Now first of all, let's look at AC. And we can see that AC will be equal to, going from A to C, is AO plus OC. Now OA is Z1, so AO is minus Z1. So it's minus Z1 plus OC is just Z3. Now BD is equal to BD is BO plus OD which is minus Z2 plus Z4. Now here we'll use this part over here. 
z2 is wz1, so that's minus wz1, and z4 is wz3. And we'll take out that w, let's move this down a bit, we'll take out that w and we get minus z1 plus z3. But that's AC, so it's W times AC. So we know that BD equals this. Right, looking at the modulus of this, modulus of these, the modulus of BD will be equal to the modulus of W times the modulus of AC. So we can split this one up. Now remember, W is equal to the series of pi upon 3. So the modulus of W must be equal 1. So if that's equal to 1, we can see that the modulus of BD equals the modulus of AC. That is the distance BD, therefore the distance BD equals the distance AC.